I've gone into PHP My Admin and I'm going to create a MySQL or MySQL table in which to store our values. I'm going to call this something simple, why not WKT table. Number of columns for that should be fine. Okay. Now we need a ID field. It's going to be of type int. Set it a primary index and we want it auto increment. Next up would be name. We want this to be varchar to store a text string of 150 characters. Now let's have a field to store our WKT or well known text values. We want this to be type string, medium text should be more than enough. Now we want a spatial field, let's set this of type geometry, which stores polygons, points, line strings, multi polygons, that type of thing, so that should be fine. Right, now that looks good. So let's save that and we're good to go. The name spatial is a MySQL reserved keyword. Um, okay, let's call that something different then. Shape. Cool, and that's good to go. To start with, in Quantum GIS or QGIS, whatever you want to call it, go into New Shape File. I want this to be Type Polygon, and I'm not too bothered about any fields or anything, so I'm just going to click OK. Um, worth saying to keep this up. Uh, WGS84, that's the map, datum, Google Maps and leaflet to use. So click OK. Want to call this one, let's just call this shape. Cool. Now I want to toggle editing and create a new feature. So let's just do a very simple boundary. This very simple. I'm using OpenStreetMap here as a base map, so big up OpenStreetMap contributors. Enough respect. Okay, I've created a feature now. So you save my edits and de-toggle, if that's such a word, <laughs> editing. Now go into the plugins, manage and install plugins. Now I want to install a plugin called getwkt. Very straightforward, does exactly what it says on the tin. Wait for that to install. Cool. Right, so now this little arrow, well, circle with WKT is in. So now I want to select this feature, goes bright yellow, click WKT, and yep, I have a well known text representation of that polygon I've just drawn. It is pretty cool. Now if I go into the database, the WKT table, click on insert, wait for it to load, not going to bother with an idea, I'm just set it at auto increment so it'll uh, allocate a number. I'm going to call this the name of the settlement I've just drawn. Going to paste in the WKT and that's all I need really. So I'm going to click on go and wait for that 
to insert. Yep, that's good. So I can go in and browse, and now I can see, yep, you've got that WKT feature there. And hopefully the data type, which was medium text, yep, it hasn't truncated the value, so that's all fits. So if I now go into the SQL tab, so what I want to do now is update WK table set shape equals now I want to type geometry from text. OK, brackets, and now if I want to select the WKT within the brackets. So now what that's going to do is populate the geometry field, and that will create a geometry from the well-known text we've just pasted. So I'm going to click on Go, and that's done that super fast. Now I'm on what version? I think it's PHP. Uh, my admin, my SQL version 5.6. So if I click on Visualize GIS data, it's just shown me. So I can use OpenStreetMaps as a base layer. And as you can see, it's now created a spatial type easily. OK, that's the simple way to import geometry into MySQL.